for what I see, you have two types of city. One is the older city and one is the newer city. Uh, first time we came, we said we lived in the old city by the West Lake. And then we came to this side of the city, which is a modern city. And uh, But your infrastructure, your stadia, your village, all that is this side. So it's excellent the way this come up. Beautifully done. The interest the people are showing by the volunteers, uh, by the organization, by the city, by the council, all your government has been so it's impressive. They are also very keen on having a great game and they are very involved with the game. And the citizens of Hangzhou will enjoy the game. And not only here, but also the rest of China and the world over. But our expectations are very high. And uh, we look forward to a great um, uh, opening ceremony. And I'm sure it will be, I heard it's being done digitally and uh, there's a lot of new innovations coming up in which will be shown, showcased. And they will show the different areas, different parts of uh, Hangzhou. It's a very good sign that we have uh, everyone participating. We are encouraging gender equity. So we are keen that uh, the women and the men should be on par. You see, I'm very keen on athletics. I like I like watching all sports. I've been in sports. In uh, the Olympic movement, my sport was shooting. Daughter, she's shooting in the Asian game now. With the new um, infrastructure coming up, with the new digital digitalization happening, and all these things help. You know, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see more and more awareness of uh, uh, sport. You'll, we bring sport closer to the people, plus also your way of life. I was given the figure that I think it's amazing how, how much involvement people have. And uh, digitally you can go right across, so it's, it's a great thing. Nearly 12,500 athletes and a four and a half thousand approximately official that have come here. And so to everything put together, this is going to be obviously one of the biggest games going.